All right, let's do a little mail day here, huh? Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Send me a comment, even if you hate the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to see those likes and subscribes come in. I'm going to do a little mail day because I got some stuff in the mail, and I said, oh, let's put that on YouTube like I see everybody else do. So that's what we're going to do here. A lot, of you know, a lot of wrestling cards. I think these all came from the same person. 1990 Classic WrestleMania 2 Series 2 History of WrestleMania card, PSA 10. On the back it says, In Los Angeles, Tito Santana and the Junkyard Dog took on the Funk Brothers, Terry and Hoss, managed by Jimmy, Mouth of the South, Heart. 2002 WWF. Now you're going. Raw Deal SummerSlam. I think this was a game. It's a PSA 10. I got all these for relatively affordable prices. You know, I know that's affordable, different for everybody. But maybe, let's say between $20 and $40. Maybe if it was a nicer one or a rarer one, it was more. But here's a 1990 Classic WWF Series 2 WrestleMania 2 History of WrestleMania. PSA 10. On the back it says, In control of things, the immortal Hulk Hogan plastered Bundy's chest with a stinging series of chops. I've been big into wrestling lately, as you can see. So I've been revisiting my love of wrestling, buying wrestling cards. This is another, another 1990 classic WWF WrestleMania 2 History WrestleMania card, PSA 10. Uh... Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> I used to love that guy. Greg Valentine uses compact power to headlock the challengers in his WrestleMania 2 tag team title match in Chicago. So that's uh, that was in the first envelope there. Four PSA 10s. Three from the 1990 Classic Series. Do you remember that? I remember those. Those were like junk wax. You couldn't really give those away. Well, they're not worth too much now, but PSA 10s are nice to have, you know. And now here's another box, I think from the same seller. There's, who did this come from? Was it four sharp cards? Yeah, four sharp cards this came from. Um, you know, one of those big consignment houses. I like them. I check them, Com C, uh, a couple others. Anyways, so we're doing a mail day here, looking at my wrestling cards. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me fix this phone here. So yeah, we got this was from Four Sharp Corners. Doing a mail day here, looking at some wrestling cards I bought. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like. 1998 NWA Superstars Road Warriors Hawk PSA eight. Hawk and Animal, along with manager Precious Paul Ellering, have been together longer than most tag teams in the sport. Their domination of the competition has led to being selected Tag Team of the Year by Pro Wrestling Illustrated three of the last four years. They are from Chicago. This is a PSA 8. A little off-centered for my taste, but it must have been cheap. I must have picked it up on the cheap. Oh, here's a football card. I definitely must have picked this up on the cheap. I'm just going to try and flip it. Pete Burnside, 1960 Tops, PSA 7. I bet I paid, let's say, $10 to $15 for it. I bet under 15 1991 Classic WWF Undertaker Rookie Card, PSA 8. PSA 8. From Death Valley, 328 pounds, birthday unknown. Trademark called the Tombstone, known for burying, burying the competition. Favorite quote, The Undertaker enjoys his work. PSA 8. These get pretty pricey once you get the PS9, PSA 9, PSA 10. I think I probably picked this up for about 25-ish bucks, let's say. And now we have here my first Wrestling All-Stars card. 1983 Wrestling All-Stars. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, autograph. 
this this set is like this is the pinnacle of wrestling cards. It's like it's the equivalent of the '86 Fleer set in basketball. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, New York City, New York. I didn't know he was from New York. Duggan is one of the wildest and most dangerous men to ever compete in the sport of wrestling. He has a kamikaze approach to the sport, caring little for his own body and injuries, concentrating only on winning. A former professional football player, Hacksaw has brought his very effective sparing tackle with him to the ring. One of his biggest victories at this point came when he defeated Iron Mike Sharp for the Louisiana State Heavyweight Championship. This is for my personal collection, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Authentic autograph. Uh, four Sharp Corners had an auction about two weeks ago, ten days ago, and there was a bunch of wrestling all-stars up. Which was surprising. You know, you don't see them. They come up, but not too often. And so I put, a I put a bid on a bunch of them, and I think that was the only one I won. 1988 NWA Superstars, Lex Luger, PSA 10. Lex Luger, when Lex Luger arrived on the NWA scene, he had his priorities in order. He wanted to make money, win titles, and be a member of the elite, the Four Horsemen. I remember the Four Horsemen. They were elite. I need to get some of their cards. Remember, um, after Elizabeth left Macho Man, her and Lex Luger hooked up in real life, and she was living with him, and then she OD'd. I think she was like 41 years old. Poor girl. I used to love her. Such a crush on her. Another 1988 NWA Superstars, NWA National Wrestling Association, not to be confused with the NWO, which was that group that Hulk Hogan formed much later in WCW. Ric Flair, Michael Hayes, PSA 10. Michael Hayes versus Ric Flair, and what, be my, and what might be the hottest matchup in 1988, Michael Hayes slams Ric Flair with total disregard for the world champion. Woo! Hit that like button, please. Leave a comment. Let me know what you did and didn't like. Subscribe. Woo! Thanks for watching. I got a couple more here. Tito Santana Auto. A little off-centered for my taste, but I really wanted a Tito Santana autograph. And I like this card. 1985 Tops WWF. Authentic Auto. 1988 NWA Superstars Road Warrior Animal vs. Ivan Koloff, PSA 8. Road Warrior Animals choking a very bloody Ivan Koloff in a classic matchup of NWA Superstars. And then the last one here. 1986 Monty Gum, Nikolai Koloff, and Dusty Rose. Wrestling Stars Handcut, PSA 9. That's it. I'm really excited about these. Um, most of them are from my personal collection. Um, and uh, I might flip a couple. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hit that like button, please. Send me a comment. Let me know what you did and didn't like. I'll see you next time.